Hi everyone, it's Andreas from Formtech 3D here, and we just got our new Ultimaker 2 3D printer in, and we're really excited to open the box and have a look at what's inside here. So here we can see we've got all our forms from FedEx here, all our invoices and things. Then once we get through this, yeah, that's just all the paperwork. Then over here we can see we've got the glass bulb platform. Looks like a really nice quality piece of glass here. And here are a couple of our spools of filament here. Got some PLA black. I ordered a couple of extra filament spools, so that's why I think there's a few more in here. So we got red, got some blue, a little card from you imagine here, the online online. 3D parts hosting website. And then yeah, under this bit, yeah, we can get more to the business end of things. Cool, so it's a bit easier to get this out on the floor here, so we're just gonna go and put it there for the moment and then start taking up other pieces. And first first we'll give a go at taking out these corners here. Cool, so now that we have the box open of our Ultimaker, we can have a dig around and we can see that we have our user manual here, as well as a couple other little bits and pieces here, easy 3D printers and stickers. And then we can take out this middle box carefully here, and this is what should contain our essential accessories as said by Ultimaker. So it's a little bit difficult to get out of there. And let's cut this open here quickly. And in here we have got our first little test print here of whatever that is done by this exact machine. That's just a little test print that they do just to show you. Then what else we have here? We got our USB cord for our firmware updates on the machine. Our little uh, filament feeder on the back here. Our glue stick, some grease for the for the Z axis, and a couple uh, hex keys here or Allen keys. And then yeah, we've got our uh, spool holder for our filament at the back and. Here is what I think is our power supply, yeah. And here's the power supply for our machine. And that is what Ultimaker call our essential accessories there. Cool, so now to take out the printer itself, we just take off this piece of cardboard on the top here and put that to the side. And then, when you're lifting the printer out the box, uh, try try lift it on the frame and don't try to touch any of the access or things like that. Just be careful and pull it out the box. And then onto our table here, our nice new Ultimaker 2 printer. Looks like everything seems to be in place and alright. The packaging seems to have held up. I'm quite glad with how FedEx and Ultimaker packaged this. It came quite nicely. The box is still nicely intact and everything. And yeah, no, it looks like everything came here in one piece. Cool, so now what we need to do is just take out these cardboard pieces on the inside of the Ultimaker 2 here. another piece that looks like it's under the bolt platform here what we can do is just lift the 
lift the lead screw at the back here and then try and get under there to get that piece of cardboard out. And that's all the cardboard out of the Aldi Maker. Looking good. Cool, so now what we need to do is just grab a set of side cutters here just to get the two zip ties that hold the X and Y axis together here. So it looks like our Ultimaker is fully unboxed and it looks like everything came and shipped really nicely and also really quickly. It took about five days or so all the way from the Netherlands down here to South Africa, Cape Town. And yeah, no, everything looks like it came out pretty good here. Yeah, got the SD card that comes with it, or 4 gig SD card. Got the nice LCD screen here, and also the little turn, turn and push knob here for your selection. And all in all, it's looking really good, and can't wait to get this thing running and take it for a first print. Cool, so now we are going to open up our box of extra filament here. I ordered a couple extra um, spools of filament so that we could try out a couple new materials and really get the Ultimaker dialed in nicely. Um, I think what we're going to go for here is the Ultimaker um, Magenta, just to go with their theme and that robot and everything. I think it'll also look good. Let's have a look through here and see if we can find it. Okay, go. So we're just gonna put on our spool of the Ultimaker Magenta here. Just slides on quite simply like that. And then we're almost ready to rock. So it looks like we're almost ready to go. The power su supply is in. Uh, we double checked everything to make sure it's all right and everything is assembled. So it looks like we can switch on and start printing now. Cool, so now we are welcomed by the Ultimaker with a little message on the LCD screen that says Welcome to the first startup of your Ultimaker, press the button to continue. So, we are continuing. And because this is our first startup, I will walk you through a first one wizard. That's what the Ultimaker is telling us, so we will continue. <coughs> Okay, after transportation, we need to do some adjustments and level out the bolt platform to make sure everything is uh, running up to spec. So now on the LCD screen, it's telling us to rotate uh, the button here until our bolt platform is a millimeter from the extruder. Pretty close. It's quite hard to see with the reflection from the glass platform here. Yeah. Oh, that looks about a millimeter to me. Okay, so now we're fine-tuning the uh, level of the bolt plate here with a piece of paper and you're just checking to see if you meet any resistance and if so, then it's too close. It just needs to just fit through there. 
feels pretty good at the moment. I think just about a half a click there. Yeah. It says that it takes a little bit of force. Mm -hmm. You can watch in there. There we go.